After a quick question on Twitter asking who used the attribute spreadsheet, I figured I'd use this time to create a quick video for you. Uh, one of the things that I use it for quite a bit is um, changing values on joints and, of course, changing lots of values together. Maya doesn't have another way to do this. You can use a for loop script or you can do some other thing like exposing the channels um, in channel control and go over here to non-keyable hidden and find the attribute and turn it on and then you can edit all of them together. That's a little slow and cumbersome. So I'm going to go ahead and just click a joint and I'm going to right click and say select similar to grab all the joints in the scene and that's a really handy quick way to grab them. And uh, <clears throat> I can edit the radius but I can't change the draw style. If I open the attribute editor, here I can see lots of attributes but I can't change them together. If I change draw style from bone to none, it just hides the one selected attribute, and there's no way currently to edit multiple attributes together at the same time. Same with rotate order. So we're going to pop open the general editor and go to our attributes spreadsheet. And you can, by default, it opens on keyable. I'm going to click over here and hit all, and then I'm going to just start typing in what I want to filter for. So if I was trying to edit the rotate order, I could type in rotate, and here's the rotate order, and then I can change them in uh, one big group. In this case, I want to change draw style. So here I find draw style, and if I type none, you see nothing happens, and it's actually because there's a capital N. So if I type none, big, big word, uh, uppercase, <laughs> big word, uppercase, then it hides the bone. I can also just click the entire system, click in here, type none, and now I've hidden all the joints, uh, set the draw style. Um, I can set them back to bone, bone, and it turns them all back on. For some reason, looks like 2018 has a bug where the first thing you type in doesn't actually accept it, so then you type it back in. But it's still faster than trying to do this any other way. For rotate order, I can, again, I can type order, and it actually does a really good job of filtering quickly. And now we can do uh, Z, Y, X, and fix the top one, Z, Y, X. So you can quickly change rotate orders and uh, turn on and off segment scale compensate. That's another one that um, is kind of a pain to use. Um, so turning this on and off on a joint chain um, to either reconnect the attributes that have lost connection or to turn it off if you don't want that behavior. Um, the attribute spreadsheet is going to be your fastest way to do that. So hopefully this helps you out and um, lets you explore the spreadsheet a little more and find a faster way to edit lots of attributes. Just remember, you have to type it in as it expects it. So open up the attribute editor, find the thing you're trying to edit. Um, this is also really great when you're trying to find, um, let's say, draw overrides. So if you get a file and someone's turned this on for all your objects, then you just go draw. Um, let's see, dr draw style, and this is um, let's see, over override. There we go. And there should be in here override display, turn on and off, override colors, um, override visibility. So here I can go ahead and turn this on, and I've turned enable overrides on for everything. So here's the, the way to turn that on, and then you can change all these settings as well. So if you want to change the color, turn this on and off. Give it a chance. Thank you.